Adam Collins here at Manuka Oval in Australia's capital of Canberra, where tomorrow, between Australia and Sri Lanka, this will become the 11th test venue ever used in this country across 143 years. To put that in perspective, in India, they've already used 27. So you get a sense of just how rare it is that they do have new venues for test cricket here. It is a true piece of history at a stunningly beautiful cricket ground, not a stadium, an old fashioned kind of ground with boutique stands, some lovely old lot, big light towers behind us here, an old fashioned scoreboard as well. When they two turn out, Australia will have an unchanged 11. That was the news out of Tim Payne's press conference this afternoon. There was the temptation for Marcus Stoinis to come into the side, the West Australian all-rounder who was called up to the squad as cover, but they made the decision that the pitch has just enough grass on it that they don't feel as though they'll need that extra support. That is to say, they don't think it'll be an absolute road as it has been here in one day internationals over the journey. Indian watchers would remember back at this venue in early 2016 when nearly 700 runs were tallied on a very flat pitch. We're not necessarily expecting that. It should move around early according to what we've heard from the curator over the last couple of days. So it might be an unchanged side for Australia but that doesn't mean there won't be plenty of scrutiny on it. Especially Mitchell Stark, the left arm seamer, opening bowler. He turned 29 yesterday and he's been under the pump. He didn't have his best match of all time in Brisbane despite taking his 200th test wicket along the way in the first innings. His radar was off, especially in the second dig. We've had this effect over the last few days where people outside the Australian camp, uh, media commentators, people on television and so on, have been calling for Stark to improve or lose the new ball or maybe his Ashes spot could be in doubt. By stark contrast, the Australian side have been backing in their attack leader to the hilt. And that was certainly the message from Tim Payne today as well when he said that Mitchell Stark will be keeping the new ball tomorrow. I think Jai bowled beautifully with it. Um... And obviously we've used Starkey for a long time with the new ball. And, um, we think he's still our best new ball bowler when he, when he gets it right, so we'll always give him the first few. Um, hopefully he can swing a few, and if he does, we know he's, he's more than likely to get an early breakthrough. But what we have done is brought Pat on a lot earlier than, than what we have done in the past. There was a school of thought that they would try and get Will Pekofsky, the 20-year-old Victorian, into this side to experience Test cricket against Sri Lanka at home in relatively friendly conditions rather than going to England later in the year as we expect that he will on the Ashes tour without a test under his belt. They made the call though to stick with Curtis Patterson at number six who was really impressive for his 30 last week and of course Marnus Labuschagne and Travis Head, two men they've invested in over the last four or five months. In the case of Labuschagne, we're expecting him to bowl plenty of leg spin this week. Tim Payne made that point at his media conference. They'll bowl more, more overs here more than likely but they'll fall onto the shoulders of the young all-rounder Labuschagne. We call him an all-rounder. His numbers don't necessarily reflect that, but at test level, certainly at the UAE last year, his leg spin was quite effective. On the other side of the leisure, Sri Lanka have not had the best 12 months on the field or off the field, and, and for the most part, that has continued in the last couple of days. Of course, they were thrashed by an innings last week at Brisbane to go 1-0 down in the series. The captain, Chandi Mal, today when fronting the press had to deal with the fact that they have named a side, but they won't tell us who it is quite yet, which is understandable given that the coach has been removed as a selector since the last time we spoke on Crick Buzz a couple of days ago. So there are some internal machinations going on there at the moment. What we do know is that the two fast bowlers, Kumara and Shamira, have both game got gone home injured, so they will need to call on the reinforcements tomorrow. And here was the Sri Lankan captain, Chandi Mal, talking about how important it is that they find a way to show some backbone last this week after such a poor showing at the Gabba. I mean, it's always tough as a players. I mean, uh, so many things happening, but uh, we don't want to uh, uh, concentrate about that. We just uh, want, want to uh, control what we can control. I mean, uh, uh, that's the thing uh, what we have to do as a team and uh, we all know how tough it is uh, playing uh, against Australia and uh, yeah I I'm sure uh, uh, boys will compete uh, uh, with the Australia team uh, in this game and, uh, and hope to uh, finish well. So a tremendously exciting week ahead for us in the nation's capital of Canberra. Make sure you follow it throughout the week on Crick Buzz. I'm Adam Collins signing off at Manuka Oval. <laughs>